hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are going to learn how to write thank you in a korean language or korean characters so before that we have to know the word thank you in korean so what is thank you in korean it is Kamsahapnida. 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 So, before that, we need to know what are those uh, Korean hangul that we are going to use to form this Kamsahapnida into Korean alphabet. So, so in my previous uh, video, we study the Korean alphabet, the vowel, the consonants, double vowels, and the double final consonants. So, for this kamsahapnida word, uh, we are going to uh, use those characters. This one, this uh, characters I write down here. To we are going to use this to form the word kamsahapnida so this one is a hard uh, in roman character this one is g hard g so or letter k in uh, Roman characters so, like it sounds like K K So you can check my previous video. I hope so you can check them out so This one is a vowel character I Also have previous video about this so I hope you can check it so for this one this is letter in uh, Roman character this is A and this one is M and this one is letter uh, H and the next one is S and this one is and next is N E or I and this one is D so we only have two vowels letter A and letter E so they both have a circle so for Kamsahapnida This characters is this one letter G You have to write down it here and then the next one is letter A so you have to write it like this so if you notice there is no circle like this this one because this is already consonant this is consonant if you are going to write this alone you cannot read it as a so you need to have this uh, circle in front of this uh, vowel for you to be able to read it as A because if you write it like that alone with no like this just like that you cannot be able to read it because there is no sound you cannot create a sound so you you need to to attach you need to write first the consonant and that is the the consonant uh, E. 
but it doesn't have sounds so so for this one you cannot write them like that that is wrong so because we already have this consonant in front of this vowel so you can already already uh, uh, read it so so we need to erase this one okay so move on the next one is uh, letter M so we need to get this character letter M we have to write it down here it is a final consonant guys so that is the first syllable so uh, you will notice in uh, next next is letter S awesome. and letter A just copy this one write it next to it and you don't have to write the circle that I explained earlier so this is sa then the next one is letter H so letter H is this one so we just have to write it here next to sa and then A and then B and that is a final consonant hop hop three letters in uh, N is like this I and then the next one is letter D and then letter A so this is come this one is sa so we are going to write it first syllable hop in three letters but read as one word that is one syllable so this is hop and this one is knee and this one is da come sa hop knee da so this one guys letter b it would be sound like hop it is sound like hop because this letter b is a final consonant and if you use it as a final consonant the sound of this would change to letter e because you use it as a final consonant is a rule of their uh, Korean uh, language guys so whenever you use this letter B uh, at the bottom at the bottom so the, the sound of this would change instead of hop it would be hop hop so come sa hop so this one letter G like what I said a while ago it is like G or K sound so you're going to sound like in between okay so Come, sa, ha, ni, da is the 
thank you in Korean. So it is written like this. Come. Sa. Ha. In Korean, it means thank you. In English, it is thank you. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. You learned a little. So, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Um, please subscribe and like and share also this video if you like it. Uh, thank you so much.